magnetic separation. So as the name suggests, you know, um, this separation techniques, what is the what is the theory behind it? Okay, of course, we are making use of the magnet theory. Okay, so with this right, if one component of the mixture has magnetic properties, okay. So what do I mean by magnetic properties? That means they are magnetic materials. Okay, and we can use a magnet to separate the mixtures. Okay, so what are the what are the magnetic materials? Okay, it's down here. S I N C. You know how to remember? You know, since primary school we taught you this this method, right? Superman is not cute. Okay, steel, iron, nickel, and cobalt. They are all materials that are magnetic. Okay, and take note: are this are this the the four types uh, of of uh, magnetic materials only? Okay, remember in mixtures we talk about alloy. Okay. So any alloys, okay, which is a mixture of metals, as long as it contains any of the four magnetic material, uh, the alloy can be magnetic as well. Okay, and another misconception. Okay, this is a misconception that uh, I want to address. Okay, not all metals are magnetic. Okay, so some students they have this misconception. Uh, you know, they thought that all metals must be able to to be attracted to a magnet. Okay, no, only this four. Superman is not cute. Steel, iron, nickel, cobalt. So if you were to take like you know gold, silver, and aluminium, right? You put it near a magnet. Okay, does it attract? No, it will not attract because gold, silver, and aluminium they are not magnetic material. Okay. So um, let's look at how magnetic uh, separation it works. Okay, for example, if I have this mixture, this mixture is iron iron powder or iron fouling and this yellow yellow powder is actually our sulfur okay let's say i have i have sulfur and i have iron okay so they are being mixed together how do i how do i separate them okay because iron is actually magnetic i just need to take a magnet okay this magnet it will attract the iron then does it attract the sulfur no right because sulfur is not a magnetic uh, object or magnetic material. So very simple. Just put the magnet here. It will attract all the all the iron fouling. Okay, then you will be left with the sulfur powder. Okay. And another example that I can show you. If let's say if let's say this iron iron fouling is being is being uh, placed together with uh, with water, right? Okay. So it forms a suspension. Okay. Can you see that it's like is is a black suspension. So what can I do? Okay, I just take a magnet, put it by the side. Okay, at time zero, it looks like this. That means it's a suspension. It's totally it's totally dark, huh? Because the iron fouling are suspended, well, within the the water itself. Okay. So after a while, okay, you find that all the iron fouling they will be attracted to the magnets. Okay, and you see that the water is now clear. Okay. So how to remove it? Okay, slowly slide up the the magnet and then the the iron iron fouling will follow follow the magnet and then you can remove it at the end okay then you get iron iron fouling and you have pure water okay, okay. okay.